So over the weekend, I drove down to Houston to film some client work, and on Instagram, I posted some of the gear that I brought with me. And a lot of you have asked, bro, what's in your camera bags? And then I realized I actually haven't done a what's in my camera bag episode in a long time. And so I figured, let's go make a what's in my camera bag episode. So today I'm gonna show you the gear that's in my main camera bag, and then I'm gonna show you the gear that's in my bigger, badder camera bag. This episode is sponsored by Fiverr, an incredible resource to help creative entrepreneurs like myself, but more on that in just a sec. All right, my nerds, let's show you my main camera bag. So the backpack that I'm using right now is the Think Tank Airport Essentials. Now this is like my go-to camera bag if I'm going to a shoot and I have to carry tons of gear without wanting the backpack being too bulky or heavy. This backpack is also great to carry on any airplane from like the big airplanes to the smaller airplanes. It'll fit in any overhead bin and under any airplane seat. And I've been traveling with this backpack for years. I took this thing to Kenya all over Europe and it's still in incredible shape. All right, let's start with the front. Uh, over here is where I normally have my MacBook Pro. It's off to the side, so obviously it's not here, but if you have a 15 inch laptop, then you can slide your laptop into this slot right over here. All right, on to the goods. Okay, let's start with the mesh pockets. Uh, over here, I have some Polar Pro filters for my DJI Osmo Action camera. Polar Pro, good company. Here I got the camera body cap and a rear lens cap to stick together just in case I need to switch out lenses. And uh, over here I have a silica gel packet because uh, oftentimes the places that I travel to can get pretty humid. So having some sort of a silica gel packet in your backpack I think is crucial to help absorb all that moisture from getting into your gear. Mesh pocket number two, here is my battery holder pocket. This is from Think Tank, it's the Think Tank battery holder. And here I have my batteries for my Sony camera, so nothing fancy there. And right next to it is an SD card wallet, also from Think Tank. This thing's pretty cool because there's a lot of pockets to store SD cards. Uh, I've also stored some micro SD cards and other things over here. So there's mesh pocket number two. All right, so for my main camera, my workhorse camera, I have the Sony a7 III and the 24 to 70 G Master lens. In front of it is a Polar Pro VND filter, the Peter McKinnon edition. I got a lot of flack for that video. Thanks for that but I just leave this ND filter on because I do love shooting at f2.8. My second camera that I usually have in here is a Sony a6400. I'm actually filming with that camera right now along with the Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4 and the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus along with the Dead Cat windscreen filter. Next, I have a brand new lens and it's actually a really good prime lens and it is the Viltrox 85 millimeter 1.8 prime lens. 85 millimeters is one of my favorite focal lengths and I've been shooting with this lens for a little bit now and I absolutely love it. It's actually really good. I'm gonna make a video on that later, so stay tuned. Unless I've already made that video, at which point you can watch it up over here. But if I haven't made it, then you're not gonna see anything up here. Speaking of lenses, one more lens that I have is actually the Sony kit lens, the 16 to 50 kit lens. And why do I have such a cheap lens? I actually really like this lens, mainly because I love the size of it. Now, like I said before, my main workhorse camera is a Sony a7 III, and my backup camera is a Sony a6400. But I do like capturing B-roll of myself while I'm filming, and using the 16 to 50 on my a6400 is actually pretty perfect. It's lightweight, it's compact, it provides optical steady shot, and it makes the a6400 a lot easier to pack into your bag. But more on that on another video. Next, I have a filter pouch by Tiffin, and here I have uh, a lot of the filters that I use. I've got a Hoya polarizer to help cut down on reflections and darken skies. I've got a Polar Pro ND polarizer to not only uh, reduce the exposure, but also reduce reflections in the water and darken skies. And I have a 67 millimeter version of the Polar Pro variable ND filter. And this is a filter that I usually use on my Sigma 16 millimeter 1.4. So filter pouch right over there, always good to have. Next up is a new toy that I absolutely love, and it is the Rode Wireless Go. I really, really like this wireless setup because for one, it's so tiny. Two, it works really well. And three, if you don't have a lav mic, you can actually use the mic that's on the transceiver if you're in a pinch. But for the most part, I usually use a lav mic and the lav mic that I have is a Rode Smart Love Plus. And I also have the TRRS to TRS adapter and you're gonna need that to connect your Rode Smart Love Plus to the Rode Wireless Go. Here I also have a drone and the drone that I usually take with me on most shoots is the DJI Mavic Air. It's lightweight, shoots amazing 4K video and I absolutely love it. And also I have the controller and the power charger. They all fit perfectly in this section of the backpack. 
Up next is my favorite light in the entire world and that is the Aperture M9. It's so cute and it looks like a little man. But this light is super powerful and super light which is why I always keep it in my bag. I also have an SSD hard drive. It is the Samsung T5 one terabyte hard drive. I really love this drive because for one, it's an SSD drive. Two, it's super lightweight and portable. And three, it's the perfect hard drive to take with you if you wanna back up your footage if you are going on a shoot somewhere. Uh, up next, I got some Sony chargers, nothing too fancy over here. Here I have an accessories pouch. It's a little low pro pouch that I think is meant for compact cameras, but I've actually used it to, to store my cables, like my lightning cables, USB chargers, Oh, and this is cool. This is a, this is a, a USB-C charger by Anchor. It not only charges uh, mobile devices, but I can also charge my MacBook Pro. Oh yeah, I also got a, an SD card reader and these little things that I call nuggets, which is basically a USB to USB type C adapter. So cute. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So that is my accessories pouch. Up next is the DJI Osmo action camera because you never know when you're gonna need an action camera, especially a waterproof action camera. So there's that. Uh, of course, I have a rocket blower and a lens pen to, to clean my lenses and cameras. And the last couple of items is actually on the top front pocket of the backpack. Uh, I got some Shure headphones for, you know, headphone stuff and of course, a multi-tool. Now this one is from Gerber, you know, the Bear Grylls one. And so far, I've been liking it. I lose a lot of multi-tools, especially when I go to airports. I always forget that they're in my bag and because there's a knife in it, I can't bring it with me on the plane. Oh, I almost forgot. On the side pocket of my backpack, I also have the switch pod. This is like the best vlogging tripod ever made. And uh, on top of it, I've actually attached uh, a Manfrotto RC2 base plate. And in all my cameras, I have a plate so that whatever camera that I use, I can quickly attach it onto the switch pod. Let me show you. A73 switch pod. Oh, love that sound. And look at that. Easy. And then I can vlog. And then quickly detach. Woo. All right. So that's backpack number one. Now, before I get to my second bag, you're probably thinking, man, that is that is a lot of gear. And you're right, that that is a lot of gear, but that's how I make my living. I make money by making videos. And the more that I grow on YouTube and the more gigs that I book, I realize that I should probably start a media company, like officially and properly. And if I am gonna start a business, then I should probably think about making a logo. Bad news is that I am not a graphic designer by any means. Good news is that there are resources out there like Fiverr to help out creative entrepreneurs like myself get the things done that I don't know how to get done so that they can get it done for me. Wait, what? So I went onto Fiverr and looked up some graphic designers whose style that I liked and found Lofty Design Shop who creates modern minimalist designs at an affordable price. Now, I don't know the official name of my business just yet, so I just told him or her just to make a logo out of my name. The delivery was meant to be done within 24 hours, but he or she delivered it within just a few hours. I was actually pretty surprised to see how cool the first round of logos turned out, but I saw one that I really liked and made some notes. And soon after that, I was sent this and I love it. Huge thanks and shout out to Lofty Design Shop who designed my logo and also thank you Fiverr for sponsoring this episode. If you wanna hire Lofty Design Shop, you can find him or her on my Fiverr store where I've selected specific categories to help you out if you wanna start a business like me. Categories like logo designers, video and photo editing, brand styling, and even SEO. You can even get 15% off your first order by using promo code Sydney. And if you do check out my store in the link below, give me some feedback. Let me know what you think of the sellers in my categories. And also let me know what kind of services you think you would need to help you build your business or just to help you out. All right, on to the second bag. All right, so here's my bigger batter bag and it's the Think Tank Production Manager 40. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. So this is one of my favorite travel tripods and it's a tripod by Me Photo. This is the road trip uh, tripod and I've taken it everywhere around the world. And so this is a pretty awesome tripod. Over here, I have this beast of a light. It is the Aperture 120D Mark II, incredibly powerful light. And I've paired that with the Aperture Light Dome Mini Mark II. It may look like a small soft box, but the results that it produces along with the 120D Mark II is just absolutely incredible. I also have another light and that is the Westcott Ice Light II. And this thing is so cool. Look at that. Look how bright that is. Really, really, really cool light. All right, on to my stands. So these are the stands that I use and they are from a company called Matthews. Matthews have been in the industry for years and years and years. In fact, all my C stands are Matthews C stands. Now this looks like an ordinary light stand, but it actually holds a lot of weight. I don't know exactly what the weight capacity is. 
I wanna say 20 pounds or 22 pounds or something like that. I'll put it on the screen. But this light stand was able to hold my Aperture 120D Mark II and the Mini Dome Mark II real easily and never tipped over even without a sandbag. And so if you don't have the space to store a C stand, then I would highly recommend getting a Matthews light stand. I actually have two of these stands because one is to hold up the light and the other is to act as a boom. So here's my other stand and here is a boom arm. And uh, I actually use this boom arm to connect my Rode Video Mic Pro Plus so that it acts as a boom mic. And then I use this long 3.5 millimeter audio cable and connect it to my Sony a7 III so that I can capture clean, clean, clean audio. I also have another light stand and it's a reverse folding light stand by Manfrotto. And I like using this light stand to hold lighter objects like the Westcott Ice Light 2. And that is pretty much it. Of course, you can put other accessories over here, nothing that I'm gonna mention, but definitely sweet bag that you can customize the dividers to however you see fit. And so that is the gear in my second camera bag. Okay, let's go put you back. Ooh, and that is it. That's a lot of gear. Well, hopefully this video will serve as some sort of guide to maybe help you pick up a, a particular piece of gear that you saw that might be helpful for your production. And if you have any questions about any of the gear that I mentioned, then definitely let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. But huge thanks again to Fiverr for sponsoring this episode. And also thank you to Lofty Design Shop for designing my sweet logo. But I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Much love to you all. And I'll see you in the next video.